Hello friends, welcome to AS Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss second order control system. A system input output equation is a second order differential equation is called second order system. Here open loop transfer function of second order control system is given by omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s. It is an oscillatory system where omega n is the natural frequency of oscillations and zeta is the damping ratio. Next, order of the system is determined by the highest power of the s in the denominator and in this the highest power of the s is 2 therefore it is a second order control system. The power of s is 2 in the denominator term hence the above transfer function is of the second order and the system is said to be second order system. Next, type of the system determined here by taking s common in the denominator where we can see s to the power n, n value is 1, the pole at the origin is 1, therefore the type of the system is 1. For analyzing, we need smart and intelligent control system by connecting this open loop transfer function with unity negative feedback we will get closed loop control system. Closed loop second order control system with a unity negative feedback is shown in this figure. In this you can see open loop control system connected with unity negative feedback. We know to determine the transfer function of this closed loop control system that is transfer function is equal to c of s by r of s is equal to g of s divided by 1 plus or minus g of s into h of s. The sign plus or minus depends upon the feedback. If negative feedback then we will consider positive sign. If positive feedback then we will consider negative sign. In this we are using negative feedback. So we are going to consider the positive sign. By taking g of s value that is g of s is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s g of s value and uh, unity feedback h of s value that is 1 h of s is equivalent to 1. By, sub by substituting g of s and h of s value in the above transfer function we will get transfer function is equivalent to c of s by r of s is equal to g of s value is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s divided by 1 1 as it is and as I said uh, negative feedback we are using here we will use positive sign then the g of s value is uh, omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s and uh, h of s value is 1 by next further simplifying by taking LCM we will get omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s by taking LCM this plus as it is omega n square as it is by cancelling this uh, denominator and numerator term we are going to get transfer function is equal to C of s by R of s is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. So you can see here this is the transfer function closed loop transfer function of second order system that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. By applying different inputs like impulse, step, ramp and parabolic we will get different outputs with respect to time. In this now output depends not only on the input signal it also changes with respect to zeta values. Like you can see here if zeta is equal to 0 we will get undamped oscillations if zeta value in between 0 and 1 then we will get under damped oscillations if zeta is equal to 1 we will get critically damped oscillations and uh, if uh, zeta greater than 1 we will get over damped oscillations effect of zeta of second order system for unit step input in this you can see unit step input we have considered and uh, different output response for different zeta values so first response you can see for zeta is equal to 0 we are getting undamped oscillations undamped oscillations 
and as zeta value increases that is uh, if zeta value in between 0 and 1 we are getting under damped oscillation the oscillations are dying you can see here under damped oscillation we are getting whereas for zeta is equal to 1 we are getting critically damped oscillation and for zeta greater than 1 we are getting over damped oscillation slag output these are the effects of zeta on second order system for step input we saw by applying input we will get change in output with respect to time and also we saw output changes for different zeta values by looking into this closed loop transfer function standard form of second order system is given by c of s by r of s is equal to omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square the characteristic equation is denominator term of the closed loop transfer function that is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equal to s to the power 2 plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is equal to 0 in this characteristic equation you can see the highest power of s is 2 therefore we will get two roots from this equation by comparing this equation with a s square plus b s plus c is equal to 0 we will get a b c value as a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 zeta omega n and c value we are getting c is equal to omega n square we know the formula to calculate two roots s1 comma s2 is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a by substituting abc value in this formula we'll get s1 comma s2 is equal to minus sign as it is b value 2 zeta omega n plus or minus as it is root of b square 2 zeta omega n whole square minus as it is 4 as it is a value we know 1 we substituted uh, c value omega n square omega n square divided by 2 2 as it is a value 1 now next further by simplifying s1 comma s2 is equivalent to minus 2 zeta omega n as it is plus or minus as it is root of 2 zeta omega n square as it is this 4 can be written as 2 square into omega n square is nothing but 2 omega n square so by taking 2 omega n square from these two terms we will get minus 2 zeta omega n plus or minus 2 omega n root of zeta square minus 1 from this again by taking 2 common we will get 2 into minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into uh, root of zeta square minus 1 by cancelling this numerator 2 and denominator 2 finally we will get uh, two roots value s1 comma s2 is equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n root of zeta square minus 1 let us see by substituting different zeta values what are the roots value we are going to get zeta is equal to 0 as we know undamped oscillations s1 comma s2 is equivalent to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into root of zeta square minus 1 by substituting zeta is equal to 0 this whole term becomes 0 and in this this term becomes 0 root of minus 1 minus 1 square can be minus 1 square of root can be written as j by considering that s1 comma s2 is equivalent to plus or minus j omega n the two roots are imaginary you can this you can observe one root we are getting with plus j omega n and the other root we are getting minus j omega n so next next condition if a zeta value in between 0 and 1 that is 0 less than zeta less than 1 we know under damped oscillations s1 comma s2 is equivalent to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into zeta square minus 1 in this if we consider zeta less than 1 then uh, less than one value if we subtract with one we'll get negative sign to overcome that uh, what we can do here we'll take minus one common by doing that we'll get here j that is uh, minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n 
by taking minus 1 we are getting here 1 minus zeta square these are the two roots value which you can see they are complex conjugate the two roots are complex conjugate next zeta is equal to 1 we know critically damped oscillations s1 comma s2 is equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n into root of zeta square minus 1 in this when i substitute zeta is equal to 1 this term becomes 0 and here we will get minus omega n you can see in this both the roots are real and equal s1 comma s2 is equal to minus omega n the two roots are real and equal next zeta greater than 1 over damped oscillations in this s1 comma s2 is equal to minus zeta omega n plus or minus omega n root of zeta square minus 1 we are not going to uh, change this value here zeta is greater than 1 we will written as it is by looking into this we can say the two roots are real but not equal these are the roots value for different zeta values you can see the s plane in this we can plot the root values for zeta is equal to 0 we got two roots s1 comma s2 is equal to plus or minus j omega n plus somewhere plus j omega n plus j omega n and the second root minus j omega n you can see both the roots are on the imaginary axis therefore it is called marginally stable system and the second case the zeta value in between 0 and 1 the two roots we are getting here s1 s2 is equivalent to minus zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square minus zeta omega n at this first pole value i am getting plus j omega n into 1 minus zeta square and the second root here we are getting minus zeta omega n minus j omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square and you can see for zeta is equal to 1 we are getting s1 comma s2 is equivalent to minus omega n somewhere here we will get two roots that is minus omega n and for zeta greater than 1 s1 and s2 we will get two roots that is real but not equal somewhere here in this side so now you can see here the first two roots i got that is zeta is equal to 0 and the other two roots i got for zeta value in between 0 and 1 zeta value in between 0 and 1 and this i got for zeta is equivalent to 1 you can see polar plot the poles moving in this way and uh, this you can see in this way always remember when roots are in the left hand side then the system is said to be stable if any one root also comes to the right hand side then the system becomes unstable in the left hand side if the roots are then they are stable the system is stable if the roots any one root also comes to the right hand side then the system is considered as unstable by considering the angle theta we will get tan theta is equivalent to opposite we are getting omega n root of 1 minus zeta square divided by adjacent zeta omega n omega n omega n cancelled therefore we can write theta is equal to tan inverse root of 1 minus zeta square divided by zeta and also we can write theta sorry tan theta is equivalent to sin theta by cos theta equating sin theta value as root of 1 minus zeta square sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to root of 1 minus 
zeta square and cos theta is equal to zeta these formulas we are going to use in further problems and derivation in the next video we'll see analysis of second order system by considering any of the input and we'll observe different out by considering the different zeta values hope you understood this video for more such videos like and subscribe my channel thank you